Hello, everyone. The story that I'm going to read for you today is called Under One Rock. Bugs, slugs, and other uggs. Since it's spring, and we're going to see a lot of bugs, uggs, and other slugs outside, when you can get outside, um, you can start looking for those things in your backyard, right in front, somewhere where you're not around a lot of people, but find, um, you can find some bugs. If you lift up a big rock, you probably will find bugs around, uh, um, probably right about now because it's the beginning of spring. So, let's start reading. Here is a field for insects to play in and acres of shade for turtles to lay in with windbrush trees for birds to nest in and sun splash spaces for lizards to rest in. This is where on this summer day, there lay a rock all rough and gray. See the rock, big gray rock? This is the rock. The rough gray rock was discovered by chance by a brown skinned boy in ragged pants, a curious lad who wondered aloud, what could be hiding in the red rich ground? What can be hiding under that big gray rock? He lifted the rock all rough and gray that he saw in the field on that summer's day. And there he found some varied creatures, a village of animals with special features. So we see these things in the summertime a lot, but we also start to see them coming out in the spring. And it is now spring. So we're going to see more bugs. These are the earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red rich ground below the big rock all rough and gray that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. See those wiggly worms? Those are actually really good for the dirt. If you're planting something, it's good to actually, if the, if the worms are not already in the soil, the dirt, then you can add them to the soil because they really help plants grow. This is an army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms, all squiggly and round, who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. So under that rock, there's all kinds of neighbors. Bug neighbors, but neighbors all the same. This is the spider with her eight-eyed face who builds a home in this cool, dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock all rough and gray that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. And if you're wondering what this aerate the soil means, it means that when the worms are under the dirt in the ground and they're moving, they're making space in the soil. So as they're moving and squiggling around down there, they're making space so that uh, the soil can breathe and help things to grow. And when they pee on it, it helps it too. This is the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of its back. A friend of the spider with her eight-eyed face, they live side by side in this cool dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms, all squiggly and round, who aerate the soil in the red rich ground. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a what? On a summer's day. Some tiny field crickets who sing with their feet, search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with a beetle, all shiny and black, with grooves running down both sides of his back. A friend to the spider with an eight-eyed face. They live side by side in this cool, dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms, all squiggly and round, who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a summer's Day. Oh, 
or a spring day, a really warm spring day. A soul millipede with a sensitive feel slips through the dirt in search of a meal. He plows by the crickets who sing with their feet. They rub their back feet together to make the sound. And search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of his back. He's a friend of the spider with her eight-eyed face. They live side by side in this cool, dark place. Home near the army of hundreds of uh, ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms, all squiggly and round, who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. Look at all of these neighbors. That's a lot of different bugs under that one big rock. These six tiny slugs, all covered with slime, creep over soil, eating most of the time. Pass one millipede with a sensitive feel who slips through the dirt in search of a meal. And plows past the crickets who sing with their feet that search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of its back. He's friends of the spider with her eight-eyed face. They live side by side in this cool, dark place, a home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants, neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. The creatures and critters live together as one, beneath the gray rock, away from the sun. A collection of neighbors, the large and the small, and the place where they live is home to them all. And where do they live? Under the big gray rock. They share the big gray rock. And these are the different bugs, slugs, and other uggs that we found inside the book. We saw the earthworm, who are, who are really good in gardens. We saw the ants, not so good in gardens. We saw the spiders. We saw the beetles. We saw the field crickets. We saw the millipedes. And we saw the slugs who are slimy. So those are the, the different bugs and slugs and other uggs that we saw in our book. The end. I hope you enjoy the story.